What is up, YouTube? We are back with a another video. Um, was gonna do a my 25 subscriber video this week, but this first for Memorial Day um, is gonna be the U.S. Army fitness test. Um, not the like pull up, push up, or push up, sit up, two mile run, whatever. It was actually gonna be the the like full test that they do like pretty frequently, even when you're in the army, um, slightly longer of a test, but had fun yesterday since Memorial Day weekend and not feeling doing that today. So we have made it to the gym and yeah, we're going to go hit a leg session powered by uh, Naka power. Got the lifting belt too. So, let's go get after this workout, and welcome back to the video. Alright, what is up guys? I am doing something a little different this week. I'm actually going to do a voiceover um, of this workout instead of the regular old music videos <laughs> that I normally do. So, kind of want to break down my training a little bit. Um... And just talk about some some small little stuff. So here I am doing some barbell squat. Um, every four weeks or so, I change up my training a little bit. So I'm actually doing some higher rep stuff now. I don't love it. I much prefer the shorter rep stuff of, you know, going like 10, 8, 6, 4, or even out of two reps, um, building up my strength a little bit more. But... I also know that it's not great for me to do that, especially this far into my diet. Um, so, yeah, starting out with squat here. And this week I actually did 20, 15, 12, and 10, 8. So there was a very high quantity of squat. Started at 185, worked up to 275 for the last set. Um my normal split goes legs, push, pull, um, six days a week, Sunday's my rest day, but I also focus on different muscle groups within those groups each day, so Mondays, today, I am doing legs, obviously, but I'm doing a quad focus leg workout, so most of my movements are going to be a press or um, some sort of quad focused lift. I do throw in some other auxiliary lifts that, you know, hit calves and hamstrings um, just because you don't want to completely neglect them. But for these, I am hitting a majority of just quad focused lifts. So, um, like I was saying, this workout going to be mainly just presses. And then Thursday when I hit legs again. I will focus more hamstring workout instead of quad. Um, this summer has been a little different just because of the fact that I walk so much um, for my new job. So whenever I have days where I walk an insane amount, um, rain inspections or anything like that, I will take off a leg day just because I don't want to overwork the muscle group. I'll actually just not like work out at all on those days. Um, if I just walk an insane amount, uh, I just want to even go to the gym because overtraining is a thing. Um, also this leg day, I only worked up to 275 on back squat. Felt kind of weak, but you know, I can't expect much more, uh, this far into the diet. And also drinking yesterday, um, the Sunday before Memorial day was, it had some repercussions on this workout. Um, but this workout was a good workout to kind of start the week off, especially not having work. Um, I would also like say that sitting down, like I'm sitting at like 196 to 200 right now, um, which is great. It's, it's, I feel like I've the leanest, I'm the leanest I've ever been. Um, as you can see here, I actually have some pretty good definition in my legs, which, I don't know, the last time. I mean, my legs definition kind of comes in um, 
last besides like my mid region of my stomach. Um, but most of the stuff around my stomach is a lot of loose skin just because of the weight loss factor. But here you can see I'm doing some hack squat. Um, I have a love hate relationship with, with this lift. Uh, I love it. I really feel the good connection, um, for quads. It hits hamstrings a little bit too. Um, I just, I don't know. There's, there's something about it that I just am not a huge fan of. Whether it's the movement or just how the machine is set up. I, I enjoy doing it. It gives me a good pump, but overall, uh, definitely not one of my favorite leg, leg lifts. Um, also before squat, I hit some adductor and abductor just to get the hips loosened up. Um, and also work on that hip mobility and strength a little bit. Uh, if I don't do any sort of hip mobility or strengthening before I squat, I actually get uh, a pull in my groin. Um, that kind of goes back to college football. I think it was my sophomore year. I either had a major pull or a slight tear in my groin muscle um, during a squat session in the off season during winter conditioning. And ever since then, if I don't warm up properly before leg day, you bet it's going to come back. It's weird how injuries do that, especially the further into a diet that you get. Um, then after that, we moved on to some leg extension or some leg press. I mean, um, I know a few weeks ago you guys saw me doing like ten plates. Don't know if that'll happen again. That was kind of a uh, some you know another guy in the gym that I know was was hitting some leg press, and we decided to work in with him and decided to go heavy. Uh, anytime I do leg press, I, I like to throw in uh, calf raises with that just because it is one of my more favorite lifts to do supersetted with that. It gets calf work in and I, I substitute it instead of doing standing calf raise. Um, then after that, we moved on to some seated leg curls. Once again, just break up the monotony of the extremely quad focused workout. Um, and, you know, hamstrings need some love too. So. Here we hit that, hit some more calves, and then actually hit some leg extensions after this. Uh, I also did some Bulgarian split squat. Wasn't able to record it, though, just due to the fact that the gym got super packed. But like I said, this workout was a lot higher rep than I'm used to, um, and it will be for the next three weeks or so. So we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I prefer strength training, but doing this more hypertrophy stuff does provide a good breakup to a workout. What is up guys? Back, it is Sunday, or Monday night, Memorial Day. Um, today, like showed you earlier, I went and hit legs, and then we went to the pool because it was like 90 degrees outside. So we did that. It was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, hit the pool. Um, didn't get any footage. We don't have the GoPro right now, so I was like, like it would have been cool to get some pool footage, but I didn't want to take the expensive camera to the pool. That's okay. We'll get there eventually. We'll, we'll get we'll get some fun footage. Maybe do some flips in the pool. I don't know. Never been able to do that. Maybe I'll be able to. But like I said, currently Monday night. Um, yeah, did not feel great during that leg session. Shocker, I know. Main reason, obviously Sunday, had people over, we drank. I didn't necessarily have more than I should have. Like, I felt fine, I was never drunk or anything like that. Slightly buzzed, but it wasn't like, I didn't go over the top with alcohol. But it does have a negative effect on your body. And that's kind of what I want to touch on real quick is it's hard. It's hard to drink alcohol if you have any sort of like fitness goal because one, it slows down your metabolism for 48 hours after drinking it. So like, even if the scale doesn't go up the day after, it's because it dehydrates you. It pushes all the water out of your system, and then it will slow down your metabolism. And, and any food that you're intaking, even if it's within your like your macros it's, you're not gonna digest it as quickly, you won't burn it off as quickly, and so you will, will actually gain weight the next day or two after drinking um, a decent amount of alcohol. So, 
that's the first thing that I hate about alcohol. Second thing is how it makes me feel. I like this morning working out, I felt slow, I felt groggy, my muscles felt weaker, fatigued already before I had even started. And then on top of that, I felt like I was gonna throw up about halfway through the workout just because of drinking the day before. And I have a strong stomach, like I can eat a huge meal and go work out and feel absolutely fine. But this morning I just felt like I was gonna throw up, his legs, there's all that, and so, you know, it's it's one of those things that, it, it, I don't know, it just doesn't benefit, drinking alcohol does not benefit fitness at all. And so, like, that's why I don't drink that much. I mean, I, I drink occasionally, I drink with friends, I drink, you know, in those type of situations if people are around. So I'm a social drinker, but... I mean, me and me and my girlfriend don't just sit around and drink. Like, it's not just a weekly thing we do. Like, I'll, yeah, cool, if I have a super duper long day at work, I'll come home and have a drink. But it's not, I don't know. I have grown out of the age of, like, needing alcohol, I guess. Um, not needing. Makes me sound like an alcoholic. I'm not. I'm not an alcoholic. And I never was. Not even in college. Even though the saying in college was, you're not an alcoholic until you graduated. But... I don't know, I used to drink a decent amount in college, and even for like a year after college, I'd go out to the bars every weekend, whatever, but it's just not conducive to fitness goals, or just life goals in general. I mean, who wants to drink a ton and then wake up the next day and just feel like that? Like, I'd rather wake up feel like my body feeling good or refreshed instead of waking up feeling just gross and just bogged down. Because not only does do I feel bogged down mentally, with like hangover, all that type of stuff, I feel bogged down physically. Like my body just can't get going after it's had alcohol. Because, I mean, alcohol is, you're basically poisoning your body to make you feel good. And being drunk isn't even that great of a feeling. It's like, why do it, you know? Anyway... That's all I got for that. It's, I don't know, alcohol, in my opinion, not worth it. It's fun, it can be fun. I will still drink with friends and, and in the right occasions, but not, I don't just drink to drink, cause that's just dumb. And I don't like how I feel afterwards. So, that's my alcohol talk. Hope you guys enjoyed the workout. Uh, let's move on with, we got guests, like I said, Monday night, Memorial Day salute those or, or big uh, memorials to those who, who never made it home um, everybody who's in the military in my family has always has made it home from war um, but you know shout out to all the people who, who have lost anybody overseas or, or at war because um, that's what Memorial Day is all about it's not about going out and drinking and, and yeah, it's fun to, to have a holiday to celebrate with your family and to help remember those people, but at the same time, we kind of got to remember what holidays are all about um, and those who gave the ultimate sacrifice uh, uh, for their country. So, uh, happy Memorial Day. Uh, let's move on with this week, shall we? What in the heck is this? What the heck? A little house on the prairie all up in here. This is legit, the little house. It used to be anyway. Huh. This is kind of creepy. I am out at work. It is Wednesday. And this is kind of weird. My last side of the day. It's about five at night. Nobody else is here. First time I've been to this site. 
And this is what I find. I hope it's not cursed. That would be kind of weird, huh? Curse myself for the rest of eternity. Seriously, look at this thing. What? Looks like they haven't known, like nobody knew it was here for decades. That's so sad. Like somebody legit put this house together with just rock. I don't know what it was. Huh. Well, that's something interesting that you find on the job, I suppose. <laughs> Catch up with y'all in a little bit. What is up, guys? Back from work. It is currently Thursday. I recorded that yesterday. Um, I'm also about to go climbing. Um, so, yeah, I can't talk for very long. I'm gonna be cooking up a little bit of steak before I go to the climbing gym, so. Yeah, that's what the rest of today is looking like. Um, I was gonna record some climbing for this video, but it's getting probably a little long. Actually, I know it's getting a little long because I'm currently editing it. So yeah, it's about 15 minutes right now. So this is just a little outro, whatever. But was gonna do the fitness challenge next week. It's gonna wait one more week. Got some stuff going on this weekend. Might get some pool stuff this weekend. Might get some kayaking stuff this weekend. We'll see how it goes. But. As always, if you like this video, drop a like, leave a comment on what you want to see in future videos, and as always, hit that subscribe button if you want to follow along to the right way of life. So, peace out everybody, see you next week.